Hey folks, my name is Laducium, and welcome to a let's play of an indie game called Plasma Being. Uh, so Plasma Being, what is it? It's an indie platform puzzle game. It's on Steam Greenlight right now, I think. It's on... maybe it's on Desera? I'm not sure. I actually have it installed just uh, in Windows. I picked it up a little while ago with um, an Indie Royal bundle, I think, or some other bundle that I bought. And uh, I've been meaning to play it, so uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. This is kind of a blind let's play. I think I played about a minute of it just to test out the sound. And this was a long time ago. So uh, now I'm going to start a new game. And yeah, this was 9.15. Okay. So we are going to start a new game. Enable Teleport Recharge. Let's find out what this does. Click Enable if you want a bit of an extra challenge from the game. If enabled, you will need to collect energy. Alright, I'm not going to... I don't want an extra challenge. It's going to be challenging enough as it is. Now the question is... My resolution. Okay, I guess my resolution's fine. Poor Zeb, he doesn't know what's happening to him. Or why. Alright, I'm going to stop reading. I have a bad habit of reading out loud uh, text that's on the screen. Stop talking because I can't read and talk at the same time. Poor Zeb. Invader Zeb. All right. <laughs> I miss Invader Zeb so much. Such a good show. Uh, I need to pay attention here. All right, I kind of missed some of that, but that's okay. Uh, hold left shift to move slower. So we can walk fast, slow. So a couple of things to note about this uh, this game that um, I had found out about while just reading up on it. It is made using the Love Engine, which I've played around with as well. Um, the Love Engine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is a... It's a versatile engine, you can make games for it that can then be easily ported to Windows, Linux, iOS, Mac, um, OS X, um, and other platforms, Android, and so on. Uh, there we go. So that's all I had to do. Let's just move into there. Um, so it's a versatile engine. I've played around with it, but never got but very far. But apparently Felix Wunderlich, Leech Wunderlich, uh, I, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, uh, but Felix here uh, made a game with it, and it looks pretty good, and i got to say, I've checked out a number of games made with the Love Engine. There's a few out there. This is amongst the better looking ones, and uh, frankly, it's so far from what I've seen, it's really well done, so just settings here, uh, main menu, nope, uh, I guess we want to click here. The mouse has to be a little offset from where I'm actually clicking for some reason, but that's okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is made with the Love game engine. Um, teleporters are still working, which is neat, but it has its limitations. It's free, though. It's OpenGL license, I believe. It's being worked on by an active community, so you don't have to pay a licensing fee for an engine for the engine, which is nice, especially if you're doing game development on a budget, if you're a one-man crew, and um, it's not too shabby. Kind of the cool thing is the fact, huh, apparently I can float in here, the cool thing is that you can uh, easily port your game to other OS's so you can develop on one engine and then port it over. Okay, so we learned the jump mechanic there. So it looks like we're this dude made out of plasma. Uh, which is the fourth form of matter, in case you needed to know that. Scroll the mouse wheel to change forms, okay? Left click. So I can pick stuff up and put it down. Nope! <laughs> okay. So if I put this down here, I think what I'm supposed to do, am I supposed to jump? onto, I think I'm supposed to jump onto this and onto that. Now I wonder if I need to bring this back here. 
Can I make it over? I can. Cool. And I brought that back. So now, should be able to do this. Um, alright, L resets the level. So let's move over here. So I don't want to get hit by a laser. That's true. Can I stop this somehow? I don't think I can. Hmm. Do I just have to... While holding certain shapes, right click to lock them in place. Reset the level. Okay, so once I lock it into place, I'm assuming I can't do it anymore. So if I hold the laser up and do that, uh, I should lock it in place. I should point out, so I use the mouse wheel to change forms. So it looks like I'm burning slightly ho hotter, like a Nova star or, I don't know, white dwarf, strange matter, who knows. Uh, quark soup, but I can't move in that form. And then in this yellow sun form, I can move, and I'm guessing those are the teleporter things that uh, I need to pick up, and that's what was talked about earlier. All right. While in blue form, hover the mouse cursor over a shape to see what Zeb can do with it. So I can pick it up, I'm assuming is that's what it means. Oh, if my cursor goes outside of this bubble, um, I can't pick it up anymore. <laughs> so, all right, so I need to get closer. I'm assuming this shape, I can actually lock into place. Yep. And I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to actually move it back in case I need it. Just thinking ahead. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's just me being bad at platformers. Luckily, I don't have to start all the way at the beginning, which is good. Alright, so let's take this. Oh, I guess I got to move this out of the way. Move closer. Then I can take this, lock it into place. Let's put this back here in case I need it later on. And jump. Let's move this guy over there. And jump. Okay, so we got lots of blocks here. I don't know, I will need them to get up there. So it's an interesting game. It's kind of casual. There's no time limit. It's somewhat relaxing and interesting. Fly buzzing around in the background there. I don't know what that's all about, but that's okay. Uh, you know, we'll let the fly do his thing. So, gotta be careful. This is a physics puzzle game. Uh, there we go. Can I push these blocks? It looks like I can, but I don't want to be pushing the block. I want to lock it into place somewhere where I can jump onto it and then jump down here. Like so. Um, all right, so a couple of other things. Yeah, it's the end of the level. All right, so that was easy, but that's kind of the tutorial level, I'm assuming, so I'm guessing it'll get harder from here on out. Um, personal commentary on the game, I think, or personal opinion. So far, the graphics are all right. I think the graphics can definitely use an improvement. Now, the version of the game I have, uh, when you move a lockable shape too high for them, jump on, it will turn red. Okay, interesting. So if I, I say it turns red if I can't reach it through a jump. Not red, red, interesting. Um, so I don't know if the version of the game that I have has been updated since, well, since the one I have and if uh, there's a newer version out there let's move this guy over here if there's a newer version out there yeah once i lock a shape into place i can't move it anymore there's the fly guy um if there's a newer version that's on steam hmm, question mark uh oh can't be good for me so giant fly thing and I have to do something about it. But, well, it's not letting me. Zeb tried to make friends. The odd looking creature. But didn't speak plasma being. Okay. Yes, alright. So I'm assuming I just have to flip some switches down here and something will happen. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> or maybe it's a puzzle. There we go. So 
that happens, and that happened. Interesting. Uh, what was I saying? So, I don't know if the version of the game I have is the latest version. There might have been updates, so maybe the graphics have had a bit of a change. Um, but there is a version out on Steam. So, uh, it's available for Greenlight, I should say. It's not out on Steam, but it's in Steam Greenlight. I'm really determined to keep this block. Uh, so if you like the preview, if you like what you see, and you want to see this game on Steam, then by all means, go ahead and, uh, cool. Um, and try to get it onto Steam. Alright, so, I'm gonna... <laughs> I could just move it, but or I could do this. There's collision detection, obviously. Interesting. I'm also really into this just in general because I've been messing around with 2D engines trying to make my own game. And uh, do seeing stuff like this with the physics and everything. Use the movement keys to rotate a shape while holding it. Hold left shift to rotate it slower. So I wonder if... Oh, I see. I can rotate different shapes. Um, so I probably don't need to. I think what I they want me to do is pick this up and rotate it. No, com ah, frick. Well, luckily, I don't have to depend on it. No. All right. Now I do. <laughs> Crap. Um. Well, see now you're not doing me any good being here because I can't jump up there. Um, but I guess I could still grab this. <laughs> now it's resting on my head. I could grab this. Grab this. Rotate it a little bit. Nope. Rotate it this way. Rotate it this way. Interesting. Well, this kind of works out. In an interesting way. Um, so what was I saying? Yes. Uh, this game using interesting uh, 2D physics. I'm guessing it's using Box 2D, which is a f set of physics libraries uh, which Love uses, but also other things use, I think. Um, just a lot of iPhone games in general use it. Hmm. Interesting puzzle. Do I lock it in place here? Or here? It's not... Aha! <laughs> Rotate, except the other way. Rotate this shape while I'm holding it, and it would do that. Interesting. So, cool. Puzzling. Interesting concept. The puzzles are pretty good. So far, they're unique. Uh, and we jump. And now I have to solve this puzzle. Um, yeah, so, I'm guessing it's using Box 2D for the physics. It's pretty cool. It's a, obviously a 2D game, uh, although it looks 3D. Well, no, it doesn't. It's got the moving backgrounds and stuff, which is cool, but um, I wonder if I get close, can I simply just block, oh, crap, ah, damn it, I guess that thing was keeping me alive. Alright, so how do I do this, can I do this? No, I can't lock this in place, I don't think. Run away. <laughs> I wonder if I can rotate this, however, like so. That doesn't seem to help me a lot, but I know what will. Okay, got to do this quickly. There we go. See, now I can go under here. Perfect. All right, look at that. Look at that awesome puzzling. Um, yeah, anyways, cool game so far. I like it. I do think as just a personal review, uh, some of the graphics could use an improvement, but... You know, this is one guy doing this, so that's pretty damn good. As far as I know, it's one guy. It's uh, could be wrong. So 
Zeb, Zeb, Zeb. Used to soaring through space. That's what he wanted to do now. But the planet's gravity held him in as firmly as anything ever had. Perfect opportunity for a rhyme lost there. At this point, he knew he wouldn't get off this planet under his own power. What will he do within the hour? Perhaps one of those spaceships that captured him survived the earthquakes, but now he's got the shakes. That's my rap. Copywritten, of course. Alright, so... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> okay. Um, what if I put you there? You're not gonna shoot at me now, are you? And I can't get through. Crap. Restart the level there. Alrighty. Hey, it doesn't restart all the way from the beginning. It restarts kind of from the last checkpoint. Alright, if I open this, it kills me. Um, I wonder if I can jump up there. I cannot. It's way too high. I can knock on the door. Can I place this kind of high up, but far enough where I can get through it? I don't think this is going to be the answer. And I'm stuck. <laughs> I cannot move. Okay. And there's a laser. Hmm. What if... Aha! Ah, poo. <laughs> ah. Sweet, sweet rotation. get horribly killed the next puzzle I'm sure I will uh, let's take this block with us because never hurts to have an extra block and let's see what we have to do here so I'm assuming I have to use this plan works it does well what do you know ah poop <laughs> all right work to a point except now I have no way of getting over there even if I put this here it's just not I'll never make the jumps hmm I think I have to restart jump between these two. Let's find out. Oh. There we go. Careful. <laughs> This block be moved again? No, it cannot. Hmm. I wonder. Can I use the laser for some evil purpose? Let's find out. Or will I end up killing myself with it? Probably. the wall all the way over there. And the 
laser cannot destroy itself. Interesting. Okay. Ah! Crap. Jump! <laughs> I can almost jump all the way across. I wonder if I just need a bigger block. Maybe if I get a running start. <laughs> Not quite what I needed. So how the hell do we make it? All right. All right, game. It's on now. Oh, I guess I can't lift it. I was hoping to kind of cheat and just be able to lift the block with myself already on it. Um. Maybe I jump in the little one and then I use the big one to get up there, but it still seems like I won't make the jump. Or little one here, bigger one here, and then I can make it. Let's see if that's the case. So little one. So supposedly I can make this jump. Oh, no, it's just a height thing. It's not a distance thing. Okay. Well, let's suppose that I can make that jump somehow. Let's find out if I can. Almost. Because maybe that's what I need to do. Do it in stages. Let's put this over here. So by the way, uh, obviously this is a bit too late for it now, but spoiler. <laughs> uh, if you don't want to see this game spoiled, um, then you probably shouldn't be watching these videos. Crap. Because, um, of course, as with most puzzle games, if you watch somebody already solve the puzzle, then it's not as fun to solve it yourself. That was in the middle here. Let's do that. And then if I do that... Here's my thought process. Maybe I do put this block over here. Jump all the way over yonder. Then maybe I throw this almost. Um, but I'm thinking somehow I put this on the fan and stop the fan from moving. I don't know if that'll solve anything. That did not solve anything for me. <laughs> Stop the fan from actually moving. Um, hmm. So how do I solve this puzzle? It's a conundrum. Oh wait. Oh sweet. I didn't realize I can mouse over. Okay, so I will need to do this eventually to stop all these fans from moving. I can actually move the screen just by moving my mouse. And it looks like I didn't notice uh, my resolution here. The screen's kind of has a, this black edge to it on the right-hand side, but that's okay. All right, so I don't think the laser is going to help me. I have no idea how to actually make it over there, but I do know I will need at least one of these blocks later on to get past that stuff. How do I make it up there? Nope. Okay, I have no idea. Um, in case you haven't been paying attention, by the way, I didn't mention. I don't think I mentioned this, so I should. Um, so when I am when I am yellow, uh, I can jump, and then when I am not yellow, I cannot. 
Um. Oh shit. It's just not enough to get me up here. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, let's save the game while I'm here. Playing around with the menus. And I guess it kicks me out. Um. Let's go back. Do I have to start over? Nope. Um, yeah, so when I'm yellow, I can move around and I can jump. And when I'm blue, I can move objects around, but I can't actually move myself. Now, let's see. What I was trying to do is find the controls, see if I'm missing something. Load from last checkpoint, L, open menu, right, okay, lock, possess object, move object, change form, move slower. Okay, so no. Got all the controls. So how in the heck... We beat this puzzle! Come on, you can make it now! <laughs> Plasma being, you're not making this easy for me. Come on, laser. <laughs> hmm. Can't go up here, I don't think. No, there's no way I can jump up there. I don't think I missed anything back here. Except for this TV screen. I know it's like a teleporter or something. It looks like a TV screen. Damn it. <laughs> I can push this block at least. Uh, crapola. How am I supposed to make it up? Oh, I see. Don't lock the block yet. That's how. Okay. That's how. Don't lock the first block. Then jump. Then put the second one into place. Like so. Then jump. And then jump again. Ta-da! Except now I've got this problem, and I think this is just pure platforming. And I'm kind of sticky, almost, so I can almost make it across. But I think at that point it's just pure platforming. It'd be nice with the blocks, but I can't. Alright, so use the first block as leverage, then the second block, and the first block again, or something along those lines. Now let's see if I can live long enough to make it to this fan. Crap. I hate platforming with a keyboard, I have to say, but uh, I don't know if this game has controller support, and even if it does, I don't have a good controller. I have a Bluetooth controller that's kind of shitty. I've been meaning to buy one, and frankly, now that it is Black Monday, or something, or Cyber Monday, or whatever the hell it is, uh, it might be a good opportunity to go out and buy a decent controller for my PC. Uh oh Crap! <laughs> Saw that coming. Uh, stop it. Can I uh, pick you up, dude? I cannot. It would be too easy. So I guess I just have to avoid it. I think it's gonna go after me as soon as I come down here. But I can jump over him. Cool. And then he dies. Just like real life. Um. Whoa. That's high up there. Shit. So I'm assuming I have to jump up here first. And then up there. So let's see if I've learned any lessons whatsoever. And of course the correct answer is I have not. We lock that into place. Then we do this and lock... Actually, I think I need... Why do I need to be up there? I don't. I need leverage here. And in fact, what I could do... Nope, do not fall on me, you son of a bitch. What I can do is something along these lines. Crap! Nope! <laughs> Shit. Uh, I was trying to come up with a clever scheme of oh, getting up a little bit higher. 
So we'll use this block here first. Then, well, jumping onto this one. This is an interesting concept for a game, I do have to say, by the way. Uh, just the whole switching between two states. Um, and using blocks and all this stuff, it's, it's very, very neat concept. Cool. Okay, there we go. So now I can lock this block in. Jump up here. Can I still get to this one? I can. I just have to be careful not to knock the other one over. Be careful not to die myself. Nobody's tipping over. Nope! Nope! <laughs> gotcha! That was close. Alright, maybe I don't need to go that far. So maybe I can just position this somewhere here jump on it and I might not even need that other one I might just be able to do this let's bring this one along just in case I do need it later cool block recycling it's that good block conservation now the question is am I gonna die to this while in blue form move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen to look around ah so that's what they were talking about so I can do that. I can't do that in red form. Yeah, so the... I lose my train of thought rather quickly. The, um... <clears throat> the concept is pretty cool for this game. Um, I think. I don't know if I need the... Let's find out if I can make this without using that block. Uh, almost. Except for the fact that that block actually killed me. Uh, <laughs> and it's not there anymore, so... No need to worry. Uh-oh. Alright, I see what you, I need to do. I need to start swinging beforehand. Anyways, so um, the concept of, for the game is pretty cool. Switching between states. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> that's awesome, the sound effect. Um, switching between states. The puzzles are pretty cool. I like the game so far. Some challenging puzzles, of course, some harder than others. Okay, so there's a laser there that's going to kill me horribly uh, sooner or later. And then there's a block there that I don't know what, quite what to do with yet. I'm assuming I have to move it, and as soon as I do, that happens. Okay. Let's move this over here for safekeeping further along. I think I can make the jump. And... Uh-oh. <laughs> Crap. Run. That didn't help at all. <laughs> Run. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh. Well, that didn't kill me. I can't do anything about it, but it didn't kill me. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to bring one of these back and then do something with crazy with that laser. But what? I don't know yet. This kind of, uh, the whole laser thing reminds me of Portal, which is a fantastic game that I thoroughly enjoy. Enjoy and have enjoyed. Alright. Uh, let's do this. I do want to end the video eventually. <laughs> um, I just wanted to beat this level. And easier said than done, right? Okay, let's lock it into place there. We'll find out if this is correct. So I'm assuming I need to get the blocks, the laser, to open up this thing. So I need to use these blocks to somehow get the laser over here and opening up that thingy. So let's position ourselves so we can see the, both the laser and where we want it to go. And then, ooh, I can't, won't be able to do that. Move over a little bit, okay. Just have to move over.
or more. That stinks. No. <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that laser. It will kill me as well. Alright, folks, I'm gonna put a break in the video right here. This has been going on for quite a while. Um, when we come back, I'm just gonna pick up the video right where I'm leaving off, but uh, when we come back, I'm gonna play some more Plasma Being by Felix. Um, I don't remember his last name. Um, Wonderlich? Lynch? Wonderlich? Anyways, it's a cool game. Check it out. It is on Steam Greenlight. I just uh, saw it there. So, um, yeah, if you like what you're seeing, if you want to play this yourself, go vote for it on Steam. Help the guy out, get his game on Steam. And uh, thanks for joining me, folks. I will see you next time.